It just shows you what you need to see about the Sussexes and the Sussex squad and the people that are following them. And if they can't speak out against stuff like this, well, that means that they stand with stuff like this. If Megan's not writing it herself, well, she sure seems to be okay with it because she hasn't said a word condoning it. Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I am so glad you're here. You guys, I have so much I want to talk to you all about. So I decided to do it in one of these Twitter, best of, worst of, depending on how you look at it, because these are some of my favorite ones to do right now with all the information coming out at us, all these fake stories, all the things that I tend to believe, things like that. I just think this is a quick way to hit them all. So let's hit some highlights. Let's hit some lowlights. Let's talk about what's going on with Harold and Fraud and with Catherine, Princess of Wales and, and the royal family in general. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Jen, everyone, honk honk. Um, so I'm starting with this one with Laird of the Manor. I love this so much. One idiot is one idiot. Two idiots are two idiots. 10,000 idiots are the Sussex squad. Franz Kafka. Um, so well said. I'm dealing with the onslaught myself. Now, funny side story. As we know, Bozo, I don't say his real name, Bozo blocked me and that's fine. If you're like, Jen, who's Bozo? Bozo is the... Um, Let's see. Partner in crime, I guess I would say, with Harry and Meghan, the one that, uh, you know, runs the bot stuff. You know who I'm talking about. Apparently, he's blocked me because he's afraid of me and he's tweeting about me. Oh, and he's running my videos in his tweets. So that's fun. Great. So it's actually adding to my views and my watch time. So thanks for that. And um, I must have struck a nerve somewhere because he's sharing my information. So Great. Welcome to the channel if you're new here, Hong Kong. Okay, before we continue in the sewer squad, can we sh can we just have a moment in a ray of sunshine here? Look at this. All right, so I shared this on Twitter because I don't have a pet at the moment. Believe me, I'm dying to have a dog. I just travel a lot. That's the only reason. But eventually we will have a dog again. Um, but uh, the people were sharing p pictures of their pets and it was saying, hashtag I stand with Windsor. It's a whole thing. The Sussex squad was going after Richard Eden because he named his dog Windsor. I think that's a lovely name. And now I want to name our next dog Windsor. Jay, you listening? I'm naming our dog Windsor. But uh, I thought it was so cute that he named him Windsor and they were coming after him and attacking him for that. Whatever. It's fine. By the way, smart move, idiots. Keep attacking journalists. And <laughs> hopefully he'll it'll spur him on to investigate even further into the Sussex squad. Anyway, I say all that to say people were sharing pictures of their pets. This is one of my favorite photos of Her Majesty the Late Queen, Queen Elizabeth. We love her. I miss her so much. I felt any opportunity to share this picture is great. So I felt compelled to share this of Queen Elizabeth with her corkies. This one was shared by Royally Sage. It says HG Tudor is predicting, I love his voice so much, HG Tudor is predicting that Harry's wife will say that she had cancer too when she was with the royals and could not speak up about it, but it will conveniently come out in her memoirs. Watch this space. Ding, ding, ding. I love HG. I'm right there with him. I called similar. Didn't think about it coming out in her book. I actually leaned toward... She'll probably be photographed very soon in the parking lot of some medical complex and then like have people like say, oh, is she okay? I don't know, something like that. But I like where he's going with that. Yeah, nothing would shock me at this point. All right. I have been wanting to talk about this. You know me. I don't go political here. I don't care if you're on the left, the right, somewhere in between. Whatever you want to believe, that's what you believe. That's I don't want to talk about that. But I do want to say this. I enjoyed Megan Kelly calling out Hank and Skank for a long time. I thought she did a really good job, regardless of how you feel about her. I think she did a really good job calling them out. I have been so disappointed to see this. Where's Kate? Bullshit. I feel like she's jumped on that clicky click bandwagon too, and I'm over it. So I'm proud of Brittany over at Royal News Network, and I don't mean that condescendingly. I mean, I truly am. I think it's cool what she's doing. I think it's cool that she's calling out Megyn Kelly, as are the rest of us, for this bullshit. Megyn Kelly says, people, when they sense they're being misled, will hold on like a dog with a bone. And in this case, prior to Kate's not Catherine, Princess of Wales, going with that Kate bullshit. Announcement, we were being misled. Here's Brittany's response. I think it's so well said. Here we go. We weren't misled. 
We just didn't have all the information, and rightly so. No one should be pushed to reveal a cancer diagnosis until they are ready. Catherine is not the head of state like Charles. She's also a mother with three young ch- young children. Give her some grace. Brittany, I want to applaud you for this. I think this is so well said and, and exactly what I feel and a lot of us are feeling. And, and I'm not just going after Megan Kelly. I'm going after everybody who's talking like this. Like, again, like I've said, she is... She's a public persona, not public property. We don't need, we are not entitled to know things about her health and what she's struggling with and what she's going through. I get fed up when I read stuff like this. Thank you, Brittany, for calling out. All right, from one douchebag to another, and I say that with somebody with Real Housewives recap, my title, my username, whatever it is, has Real Housewives in it. It's because I used to love those shows and then I got sick of them and I quit covering them, but you get the idea. That was where I got my start. And I say that is F off, Andy Cohen. Um, Andy Cohen ran his mouth, uh, mouse, good Lord, ran his mouth about Catherine, Princess of Wales. All right. If you're out of the loop and you're like, Jen, what happened? What did he say? Okay. So March 12th on Watch What Happens Live, he had on John Oliver. And those two are awful people. They said some really bad things. I don't actually want to say here. I'm going to dance around it. He asked what the blank is going on, and and this is a quote, you know, I call her Catherine, but he says with Kate Middleton, to which Oliver replied, there's a non-zero chance she passed 18 months ago, and they were laughing it up and thinking it was hilarious, and now look, he's finally apologized. He had every chance to, but now he's apologizing. He gave some excuse like I wanted to be on mic to do it. Okay, all right. Probably because you look like an a-hole and you didn't know what the hell you were talking about and you were saying these things and people came after you, rightly so, for saying these things. So I I don't know. I'm just so anti-Harry and Meghan and and Boozy too on their, they try to go after free speech. So I believe in people's right to free speech. He can say whatever he wants, but you have to be willing to take what people come at you with afterwards for saying dumb shit like this. Because it is. It's dumb what he said. It wasn't funny. It wasn't cute. I don't know what, I, I don't know if it was for attention or what. I don't even care at this point. And I don't care about the apology. I think, I mean, yeah, fine. He said he should have kept his mouth shut. Yeah, you probably should have. Okay, I don't even like talking about this, but I'm going to because it's important and we need to discuss this amongst ourselves. Shall we all take a deep breath together? Ready? In and out. Here we go. All right. It's not this person who posted. I really like this person that posted. I always call them this person because I don't know how to say their username. You can see it on the screen there. You're great. Okay, this person posted this. with this image of Megan with I am Baroness Brooke. Now, I've talked about this Baroness Brooke thing. You can see in other videos. I'll give you a short, real fast history in case you're new here and you're like, what's this? Baroness Brooke was somebody, I don't know how to say their name. I don't care how to say their name. Was somebody who had a very large following on Twitter. I was one of those followers. Many of us in this community were followers because they shared very similar sentiments that we all do. Like, hey, what Harry and Meghan have done is wrong. Pointing out all the hypocrisy, talking about despair, you know, just all the ways they disparage Her Majesty the Queen, all the things, right? Well, somebody, I don't know who, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, has taken over this account. This person has sold the account, in my opinion. It seems to be somebody, hmm, maybe the one on the screen? I don't know. Who could say? But come on. So I've pointed this out before, and the reason this comes up again, I believe me, I get the comments. We should just ignore it. No, we can't. You want to know why? It's because of this stuff right here. Can you think of something more disgusting that somebody could say online? I can't. This is just the most vile thing ever. It's nasty, it's evil, and it's vile. And whoever's posting this... I go back and forth as to whether or not I believe in karma, but in cases like this, I sure as shit hope it's real, and I hope it comes hard for whoever this person is. How about that? Ugh, it's disgusting. It's not funny. It's not It's not anything. It's. I know it's for attention, but there is evil intent here, which makes me wonder who is running this account. And I know. I know they want people to talk about it. 
I have suspicions. I'll tell you. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. I wonder if it's Megan. There's a certain sugar that's very vocal that I've talked about before. I've talked about it on Patreon. I don't like to specifically name the sugars here because I don't like to give them attention. There's a certain sugar who has wished ill out loud on the whale. Uh, um, sorry, did I say? Sorry, wished terrible things on the whale's children before out loud. And I'd suspect it's somebody like that. Somebody that can write things like this. We've said before, a lot of us have, we can't stand Harry and Megan. But there is something different about evilness like this. We don't wish ill on people. Breathe in, breathe. Okay. It just tells me, I, I, it just shows you what you need to see about the Sussexes and the Sussex squad and the people that are following them and that they can't speak out against stuff like this. Well, that means that they stand with stuff like this. If Megan's not writing it herself, well, she sure seems to be okay with it because she hasn't said a word condoning it. But I'm going to zoom out and give Princess Pinocchio a shout out for calling this stuff out, for pointing out the evilness here and saying, I don't want anything to do with anyone who is supporting this evil account. While she makes horrendous comments like this, this is not just awful to be said about HRH Catherine, Princess of Wales, but it's also really nasty. It's vile. It's sickening for anyone else who's having to endure this treatment to read it too. So well said. That's why I think it's so important we keep pointing this out. You got Bozo crying the ist words over, I don't know what, because what we were making fun of her bronzer. She wears bronzer. That has nothing to do with anything. We were making fun of bronzer face trying to sell makeup and, and he's calling us out. And yet this is totally fine. They're totally fine with posting stuff like this. Not okay. So then Princess Pinocchio, people were coming after her a little bit or them a little bit um, for sharing this. But I, I'm with Princess Pinocchio and this is kind of the stance I take. I don't follow her. I don't feed her. I don't click anything. It's nothing like that. We're not helping her. It's to share the evil, cruel things going around out there. And I think it's important to discuss it because the more people that get eyes on it, for God's sakes, hopefully somebody will grow some balls in the media and report on this stuff because I know I have been, you guys have been saying it loudly. I think it's important we talk about this stuff. Okay. Since we're talking about this, I want to mention something else. Uh, I had the screenshots ready to go. I'm so mad. I've lost them. I'll find them again. I'll post them in another video. So just trust me on this. Things that are going around on Twitter right now also are besides this. Okay. So these evil posts by this person that I've been talking about, you can see it on the screen in front of you. All right. Other people supposedly, I'm seeing screenshots of it, are posting terrible things about Harry and Meghan's kids now. Here's my prediction on that. I think it's their own people doing it. I think the Sussex squad are figuring out that people are investigating the squad. And Megan scared shitless that it's going, this is my opinion. This is my thinking here. Megan is scared shitless that people are going to trace it back to her. So she's having her minions, again, all alleged, all my opinion, post terrible things. I've seen them like kids and car accidents and things like that. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. Post things like that. So that way she can play victim too and say, no, it wasn't me. They were coming after my kids. Mark my words. It's going to happen. All right. I want to talk about this shared by CC Bloom 6966. And um, yeah, let's talk about this. Okay. Originally shared by Jennifer. I don't know how to say your last name. All right. Jennifer points out, and I'm rarely on TikTok, so you, you won't find me over there, but it's kind of a cesspool. But um, Jennifer points out that apparently, allegedly, whatever Diddy on TikTok shared his new phone number to his fans, all right, and called this his next era of his life. All right. Well, Cece points out, so... I can't call him a criminal because it's just charges right now. He's being, um, what is it? Allegations right now. There are allegations of misconduct, right? So to CYA cover my, CMA cover my ass, I'm going to say alleged criminal. This alleged criminal is out and about and Harry is hiding what gives. So while I might refute the wording of what she's saying, I get what she's saying. I am 
It's not that I'm surprised. It's not. Because again, we saw this, oh yeah, with the African park, still no word at the time of this recording from Harry or Megan, Harold and Fred, about the African park situation. Hoping it'll go away, I guess. Still nothing. The atrocities. It's disgusting. I won't stop talking about that. But I want to talk about this too, because I find this so odd. I've seen others that have been named. And again, it's not that I I know I get comments every time we shouldn't drag him in. He's not being accused. He's not being accused. I'm very clear about that. I find it interesting that he is named in the paperwork. That's all. So why wouldn't he, if just named in the paperwork, speak up? I find that odd. That's all I'm going with that. You can decide what you want with that. I find it odd. But then again, when I think about the African parks thing where he actually was on the board or is on the board, was president at the time when the accusations came out, things like that, knew of them, right? And still said nothing. I find it odd. I really do. What's the excuse there? You might be able to give an excuse on this Diddy thing, but why? what's the excuse on the African parks? Nothing. Okay. I had to share this from Princess Car Parkle. Great name. Um, <laughs> So this is something that has been trending on Twitter as well. Baldy locks. Baldy locks has been trending. You want to know why? Because those idiot sugars are saying that about William. Does anybody else find the lack of awareness from that group astonishing? Again, it starts with its leader, Harry and Meghan. Their lack of awareness always astonishes me. And here we are again. Who cares? Who cares that William is bald? He's still handsome, at least. He doesn't look like, uh, what do I call Harry? A beady-eyed beaker. He doesn't look like Templeton. If we're going for looks, I personally think it's kind of ridiculous to go there. It's coming for all of us. We're all aging. It's like making fun of someone because they're old. Guess what? If we're lucky, it's coming for all of us. So they're going after William's hairline. But they forget that Harry looks like this. What are we doing? What are they talking about? I don't know why I'm arguing with 12-year-olds. And we have this one from Mystified. Hi, Mystified. If you're watching, thanks for being here. It says, Prince Harry upset those two, Archie and Lily, missing out on Easter plans with the royal family, according to Mirror Online. I've seen this crap too. I don't believe it for a second. I think he's just always sour grapes, honestly. I have so many thoughts on all of this. Ugh. All right, but Mystified sums it up beautifully when it's, when she says, Harry should have thought about that before he slagged off the entire family. Wah, hashtag Dirty Harry. Brilliant, great, exactly this. Yeah, I, I think that would require thinking on his part, and I just don't think that's his strong suit. So I don't think he thinks about anything except for how life isn't fair for him, and he thinks whatever Megan tells him to think. That's what I think. Guys, I'm going to wrap this up, but I couldn't end on that. I have to I have to go back to our happy place. Look at this. I shared this photo before and so many of you reacted so strongly to it. I feel the same way. I really am. I always miss Her Majesty the Late Queen so much, but especially right now I'm feeling it and I I know you guys are too. So, I'm sending you hugs and all the love and deep breath, everybody. Let's do a cool down, shall we? Shall we take a deep breath in? (sighs) Sorry. I know that's cheesy. It's just, I just get so worked up about this stuff because I think it's so wrong what they're doing to Catherine. And, and again, everything that Megan pretends like, oh, I'm on the side of women. I'm here for women. You can see they're trying to tear down another woman, Catherine, Princess of Wales. And they did it with Queen Elizabeth too. Luckily, they're very strong women. So it didn't affect them, but I'm saying it's not right what they've done. Guys, I can only thank you so much for all the love and support, for being here, for your kindness, for your humor, for everything. It's been, it's been a rough couple of weeks. I know you guys are feeling it too. How about a live chat? I think that would help things. Can we do a live chat soon? Um, I'll try to get my stuff together. I'd never know about the Gosling and her schedule and all that. So I will post it in the community tab tentatively, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. We'll try for something like that. I just, it's my happy place with you guys and, and chatting and, and connecting. And I think I need that. And I think you guys could use it too. It sounds like, so let's do that. I promise as soon as I know when I'm free and when Jay's free and when we can work this out, um, we'll do it. 
So tentatively plan for, I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday. I'll, I'll check and see what's what's up and what's going on and uh, we'll post about it when, when we're free. So just keep that in mind. But guys, thank you for everything. If you want to further support the show, you know how to do it. Check out the merch. Recollections may vary. Not bloody likely. I love Princess Anne. Did you see her at Easter? Gorgeous and green. Oh my goodness. And Sophie. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Okay. Um, sorry. I digress. Check out the merch. Check out Patreon. Patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where you can become an executive producer. There is a special shout out I would like to give to an executive producer. And that is Lulu's mom. I can only apologize. Lulu's mom has been on the list, but somehow not on the list. So I have missed her name on the list. So I owe her the biggest hug and apology and understanding and thank you for everything. And Lou's mom, you're great. Everybody who supports the channel, thank you for so much for all your love and support. It means the world to me. And I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this. I hope you have the best day. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.